As the great resignation grows, so do the number of mothers who don't return to work. We're at a 33 year low in female workforce participation. Sarah Reddington and other leaders with the Miles Foundation in Fort Worth launched Best Place for Working Parents, an initiative that raises awareness to key benefits and policies that support working moms, dads, and their employers. This isn't just a women's issue. Businesses are losing $13 billion a year in lost productivity costs due to child care challenges. And now another challenge, how to help mothers balance new recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics to breastfeed until their child is two. Creating a supportive nursing culture to honoring the time that it takes to nurse all the way to actual tangible nursing supports is going to make it more feasible for those women who are able and desire to breastfeed for two days or two years in the workplace. The Miles Foundation surveyed more than 800 parents last year asking what's it going to take for them to get back to work. They said flexibility, remote work, child care, financial assistance and parental leave. Reality is that nursing supports are actually pretty low cost. Rogue Architects, a designated best place for working parents, invested 400 bucks into the Zen room. It offers privacy and lactation support for their moms. They have attributed their great supportive culture with retaining their employees. 35% of them are staying longer than five years, which is way above the norm for their industry. A mother herself, Reddington believes we're on the right track. North Texas is absolutely at the forefront of establishing these innovative policies, and, and I think we are seeing that trickle. And she hopes more businesses hop on board toward a family-friendly environment. In Fort Worth, I'm Suzanne Bruner.